involvement of the Sydney Symphony Orchestra all started with us finding Nigel Westlake and convincing him to be a part of Ali's wedding. So Helen Pankhurst has been friends with Nigel for a long time and very early on she said, I really think this could be something that Nigel um, would love and would be perfect for the film. Um, and then one day during pre-production, I was driving to the production office and I was, was, I was in Melbourne, so searching for a radio station and landed on a classical radio station and the most exquisite song came on the radio. Um, it had, it was infused with Middle Eastern elements and was exactly the style of music that, um, Jeff and I had been talking about a lot, uh, music that manages to really effortlessly weave in other elements but without sounding forced uh, as like a fusion of east and west um so i was waiting to find out well, who, who is behind this most beautiful song and almost fell off my chair when the radio announcer said and you've been listening to the compassion symphony by nigel westlake and leo so then it was just a speed dial to helen to say when can we speak to nigel we must convince him initially i thought i'd be immersing myself in middle eastern music and, and sort of getting to know Diff, you know, a whole new world and structures and different instruments and that sort of thing. But uh, as Jeff Walker said on our first meeting, uh, this is a romantic comedy. It just has to speak that world, you know, and, and, and that world pretty much only. And we don't want specific references to Iraqi or Iranian music. This is the very first film score that the Sydney Symphony Orchestra has ever recorded, ever. Um, I mean, ob obviously, a lot of those individual musicians have played on other films, but not as the actual Sydney Symphony. Uh, so it was kind of a bit historic in a way. And um, it was a... I still don't know how it all happened. It was <laughs> kind of a, a series of miracles, really, that the producers of Ali's Wedding managed to pull off. And um, I'm incredibly grateful to them for for their work and, and for making it happen. Um, but I think it, it seemed to all come together when uh, Helen and, and Sheila showed the, um, some of the senior management of the Sydney Symphony, the film. I sat them down and said, here's our movie. And they got very excited about it, mm -hmm. even though it only had a, you know, a very rough temp score at that time and the dialogue wasn't complete or anything. And they were genuinely excited. I remember seeing them actually the day after and they bailed me and said, oh, we love the film and, you know, we really want to be involved. Great, OK, <laughs> let's, let's do that. The three days of recording with the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, it was such a highlight. I just remember the anticipation and excitement leading up to that day. And that first day, watching them all file in and listening to them tune, I just remember looking at Jeff and looking around us all going, is this really happening? Like, we almost had to pinch ourselves. It was just as I said, beyond anything that we could have dreamed of for this film. It's incredible to think that here they are, they've never seen the music before, ever. They come into the studio, they tune their instruments up, and at, at 10 a.m. They, they start playing the notes on the page and uh, essentially play it perfectly first time. And of course you have a few more takes of things to try and get it as good as you can, but it's... It's sort of something like a bit of a miracle, really. So at times during the record, we would go into the control room where they were playing Ali's Wedding up on a screen. So we got to watch the film while they were playing the score. And that was something else, to see it in real time, as if the orchestra were playing it live to picture. A lot of these people have been playing in the orchestra for years, for decades. And, uh, and, and not only that, but they're playing incredible instruments, you know, instruments that were made hundreds of years ago that are worth millions of dollars. And you've got all, all of that facing you, looking at you, like all that energy coming at you. You think, wow, what a responsibility. And to sort of, you know, it's very humbling to be conducting that. It's an incredible experience. And I'm always very aware of what I'm dealing with and the expertise and the incredible musicality of, uh, of that group of musicians. So uh, it's extraordinary. Mm -hmm. 